Hello and welcome to Accessible Globe TV where today we're cooking again. I've got the dog to help me. She should not be near the food. We're going to be cooking broccoli and bacon soup. It's an extension of our Cooking on Wheels program. My producer Carl and I have made our own recipe for broccoli and bacon soup. We're going to share it with you today and show you how you can do it safely in a wheelchair with a Thermomix. So here we go. The first thing we have to do is, I'm just looking at my list, we have Parmesan cheese. So if you're going to use that, you can pre-grate it or whatever beforehand. We are, like we are, we just use the, uh, the very expensive packet stuff. That's all right. So the first thing we've got to do is put some bacon in. Now the amount of bacon we've got to put in is 300 grams. I'm going to take the lid off the Thermomix. I'm going to flip it over if we go to the screen. I'm going to hit the scales. Well, and then we are going to tear it or tar it, depending on which country you come from. And I'm going to add 600, what did I say? 300 grams, didn't I, Carl? Yes. So 300 grams of bacon. You don't have to be too fussy about it with the Thermomix. You just dump it in. 450 or two. Hey? I like the bacon. 450. We haven't got enough. Oh. In fact, we don't even have 350, Carl. We might just make the 300. We've got 294, 297, a couple of little crumbs here. That's it, 297. That'll have to do. So that is the bacon. You pop back to me for a second. I'll put the lid on and I'll tell you what it says to do. It says, place the bacon in the Thermomix and chop for three to five seconds on speed five. Now I did say it's our own recipe. We have changed all the ingredient amounts, but the instructions are still, we've taken the instructions on what order to do it from another recipe. So three to five seconds on speed five. We'll go over to the screen. As you know, with the Thermomix, we set the five seconds on the dial here. And we put the speed on and we go to five. And we wait five seconds. We can wait for that. Okay, let's have a look inside. See what it looks like. I won't be able to, actually you can't do it. I'm sorry, but you can't. You're not allowed to help with that. Okay, look at that. I'll just scrape it down with the with the <laughs> with my spatula. Asha the dog said she's happy to help do it, but we're not gonna do that. It's always funny trying to do this with a mirror image. That'll have to do. There it is. I'll just push the button on the thermomix to make it quiet. And I'll tell you what we're going to do next. We are going to add 20 grams of oil and saute for two minutes at 100 degrees. So I go back to my scales. There they are. And I add 20 grams of olive oil. Got some olive oil here. And I add, that's way too much, it's 35. I've done a U curl. Excellent, that's all right. We'll pop it on. We will go back to the screen, the home screen. We'll do, how long did it say? Two minutes? I always do a little bit longer. Two and a half minutes at 100 degrees. So we put the degrees up to... Okay, it said time has not been enabled, so we'll start that again. That's all right, we'll just, we'll go to, to two minutes, but that should be working. We'll see if I've made a mistake. Let's see how we go, see if the temperature goes up or if we have to uh, start again. Come back to me for a minute, Carl. These are the joys of cooking with the Thermomix. We've never had a problem. You do it on camera, and I didn't wind it all the way to the to the two minutes, which wasn't a lot of fun. But we'll see how we go. 
We'll be back in about a minute and show you how it looks. And here we are back. We're almost got our two minutes up. You can see that the temperature's got to 95. It shows you there on the, on the screen. It hasn't actually quite got to the 100, but that'll be all right. We've sorted out our bacon well. It'll finish in a couple of seconds. And we will push the button to stop the noise. I'll take off the lid, which I'll just put over here for now. And you can see it's done a great job. Now it says to put aside the bacon into a bowl. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'll try and get it where you can. So if we go to about there, I'll get the bacon from the Thermomix. And as I said, it's pretty safe because the Thermomix is a very, very safe way to cook in a wheelchair or with any kind of balance problem, really. If you've got any kind of balance problem, you can sit down, you can do whatever you need to do and do things fairly safely, really. I'm not, not the greatest at doing it quickly, I'm sorry, guys. But, um, well, that should be all right now. I'll leave that much in while we do the next bit. I don't think it's going to matter. So I'll leave that there like that. And I'll put this back in. And then I'll tell you what the next bit is. Um, yeah, so I've set that aside. I've got to place one whole onion into the actual bowl. So I'll do that now. We'll go to the top and throw her in. One whole onion. Whoops, I dropped the... Put the onion in. There we go. And what's it say to do with that? And the garlic. Now, depending on how much garlic you like, we tend to like it a little bit. We both don't have partners to worry about garlic breath in the evening, so that's always a good thing. We put the garlic in. What's it say to do now? It says chop for five seconds on speed five again. So we're going to pop the, the lid on and uh, do the five speed, do the five second thing again. Six is all right. Speed five. Chop them up, here we go. Gets a bit of a dance up, ladies and gentlemen, but it doesn't take long. You can have a look in the top and see if you need to do any more. We'll have a look and see. That looks pretty good to me. What about you, Carl? Looks excellent. So what have we got to do now? We've got to put that into We've got to add 10 to 20 grams of oil and saute it for two minutes. Well, we, we had, had a bit too much oil before, so we'll just do a little, little tiny splash. That'll do it. And I'll put that oil over there. And we'll do two minutes at 100 degrees again. So the two minutes. bit longer because we had trouble getting to the 100 degrees before and away we go we'll be back again in a couple of minutes okay we'll tell you how that's gone this time it's achieved 100 degrees if we look at the dial so we've been sauteing it now for just on two minutes would have made it even without the little bit extra but the little bit extra is not going to hurt if we look at the top, you might be able to see some steam coming out of the uh, Thermomix lid. Probably can't see that on the camera, but she's doing a good job there of sauteing the garlic and the onions. And that's it. We'll take the lid off. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to flip that upside down a bit. Oh, there. What I've got to add now is the, I've just got to check, I've definitely got to add the broccoli and I've got to add the water and the stock. So what I'm going to do is just give it a bit of a mix around here. 
make sure we've got it all a little bit round and about and out of the way and that should do it. That's about it again. Now, I'll push that and stop that annoying noise that I always forget to do. I've got to add some stock. We use three, three cubes of chicken stock, which I will do. You can crumble them in if you want. I might as well just give it a try. They're hard to crumble, so pop them in there. Number two will come out. There it is. I think we'll just throw them in like that myself. And the third one. Really easy, really safe. We have got to add the water, which should be warm water. It's still a little bit warm here. And the broccoli. Now the broccoli needs to be 500 grams. So let's go across to our scales again. We'll go to the screen for a sec, Carl. We'll make sure it's on zero so that you know you're going to be just weighing the broccoli. And now we'll start to put the broccoli in. Got some broccoli here. We'll go to the top of the... There we go. We'll pop it in. Uh, till we get to about 500. Lots of yummy broccoli. Never would have said that when I was a kid. Love it these days. Really healthy. Really good for you. I probably threw a bit away then. We're up to 349. We're up to 454. We're up to 550. That's all right. We can do that. And then we've got to add 400 grams of water. So I just tear that there. So we go back to our zero again. It's probably the hardest bit for me on camera is to put this in. See how we go. Look at that mess I'm making, Carl. Excellent. Hey, Carl. Yes. Remember when we said this jug doesn't pour very well? Yes. You're right. There you go, 414 in the jug and come back to me for a sec 440 14 degree grams in the of water in the jug and 600 grams of water on the table just the way it should be so i've got that in i've got the uh, i've got everything going and then what i need to do looking at the instructions is cook it for 15 minutes at 100 degrees on speed one. So I'll go to uh, 15 minutes. Is that what I said? 15? 15. 15. Good. I did this one other time and I had 15 seconds. Didn't work real well. 15 minutes. 100 degrees. I always put it to 105 then bring it down. We'll just check again. 15 minutes. 100 degrees, speed one. Let's go with that. Well, it won't work because I didn't put the lid on. Putting the lid on would be good. If you look at the screen for a sec, Carl, it actually tells me that there's no lid detected and it's a safety thing with the Thermomix. It will not let me do it until the lid's on. So now I will go to speed one. The lid closes. And away we go. We're cooking. 15 minutes from now, we will have... Pretty much have the soup. I'll see you then. Yeah. Okay. And we are done with the cooking. And uh, now what we've got to do is, is mix it all together, which is important. The idea here is we just go for one minute. And I'm not going to put you all the way through this, but we go for one minute. And we blend it. Starting in the one minute, starting, oops, I'll go back to that. We start at one, speed one, and over the minute we go up to speed eight. Now I've actually done this once, but I forgot to ask my producer to turn on the camera. So I'll just quickly go up to eight so you can hear what it sounds like. We'll pretend we haven't done it before. And we will. 
take the take the lid off. Now, normally it's very easy for me because I'm not in front of a camera. So I can actually just scrape the sides down. But I'm going to ask Carl to come and help me do that. So we'll be back in just a couple of seconds. Okay, here we are. So now what we're going to do is we're, going, we're very, very near the end, guys. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some cream. I like a good creamy soup, so I'm going to add 400 grams of cream. Let's pour it in. Three hundred. Four hundred grams of cream. Look, that'll be delicious. Let's have a look in the top, Carlos. That looks like it's going to be good. I've also got to... Um, what else have I got to do? And then I've just got to cook that for three minutes at a hundred on reverse speed. Now I'll just give it a little mix with my thing first just to get it in there a bit. Probably just an excuse to lick the spatula, but we're not going to do that now. Up the top, and we might pour in, Carl, if we can, some parmesan. So here we go. We pour it in. How much do you usually put in, mate? Oh. That'll do? That'll do. So we'll pop that in. So let's put the bacon in. So, okay, we'll put that in. We've got our three minutes at soft speed. Now, if we go back to the screen, if I can get this right, three minutes, we go to the screen. Soft shows you like a spoon. Can you see the spoon symbol there? It's on reverse. And we do it for three minutes at 100. If it doesn't get to 100, I do it for a little bit longer. We're all done. Here we go. Set to go with our soup. Probably put a bit much cream and thinned it out a bit too much today, I think, but uh, that's because I like my cream. i just take that out very carefully, which I will do. And I will get in there and I will get some, some of this lovely soup. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Beautiful. I'll get some more. We've got some for the producer and Nigel, the cameraman. We're all here ready to eat. Now, look at that. Can you see that? It's not easy with a green screen, but it's a beautiful soup. It's absolutely delicious, and we're going to eat it right now. It's broccoli, bacon, creamy soup. Let's try it. I think it's going to be fun. I'm you guys, you guys, ready to eat? Yes. Very good. All right. All right. Let's try it out. We'll let you know how it is next time. Until then, let's thank all the people that have been helping us on Accessible Globe TV, and we'll be back cooking again real soon. If you've enjoyed our content, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share the segments. It really does help. Special thanks to Simple Solutions, they're a wonderful NDIS training organisation and also an NDIS provider. Thank you to Hello World Travel in Harvey Bay who do all the bookings for our various travel adventures. Totally Mobile, who are there for all your mobility needs. Also, a big thanks to the National Disability Insurance Scheme, it's provided by the government, but without it I would have loads of trouble actually living life and making these programs. Thanks to everyone and we'll see you again real soon.